How you doing C peeps? My name is Dinesh Thakkar and welcome to the channel Learn Competitive Programming with Coach Chef. Now, competitive programming, data structures, algorithms, any problem, any time, this is the one-stop destination for you. Before moving forward to stay tuned with us, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet and let's get started. Okay, so let's look at our agenda for today as to how we would be solving this problem. First of all, we would start by looking at the problem statement. Next, we would understand our solution. I would uh, explain you the approach by taking an example. And finally, we would look at the solution by typing the code by ourselves. Okay, so let's move on to the problem page and let's see what we have in store. Basically, you need to imagine a chess game which is one dimensional, not two dimensional, okay? So say for example, I have a long row, kind of an array of a chess board and here, Chef is playing this game with n different players, right? So Chef and n players are playing this game. Basically, we have a pawn. Now, what is a pawn? A jargon, which basically means a soldier in our chess game, right? So yeah, uh, Chef's pawn is placed at a position K, okay? So K would be given to us in our input. So yeah, Chef's pawn is placed on Kth position of our chess board, one dimensional chess board. And basically there are n players now all the n players have their pawns placed on the chef, uh, chess board on a particular position and that position is being given to us in an array of input right now the, the position where each okay let's take a player let's take an x player right he has his pawn on any y position right let's take that position to be, to be three so that player has his pawn placed at position three now that that number three which is given in our array that is the jump which that particular pawn can make so for my player x which is playing this game his pawn can make a jump of three steps at a time which basically means that i can start with three then it would move to six then it would move to nine then 12 15 and so on right so basically we would be given an array where each number represents the jump which my particular player can play now, unfortunately, chef's pawn cannot jump, right? So the k position which we have been given, the pawn of our chef has been placed at that position and that pawn cannot jump to any position. So what needs to be done? We have n players, n players have pawns placed at different position and the jump of each of their pawn is also decided by that array, right? So say for example, I have five, that pawn can jump five steps at a time starting from position five, five, right? So that's what is given. What we need to figure out is that we need to find out first of all, whether a pawn can capture chef's pawn or not. Now, what do you mean by capture? Capture basically means that that pawn is jumping onto the position or the square where chef's pawn is currently on. And currently, basically, chef's pawn does not move, so chef's pawn is going to be at the same kth position. We need to figure out if any other player's pawn is jumping to our chef's uh, square where the chef's pawn is placed. If yes, we would take that player into consideration in the sense that that particular player can capture our chef's pawn. Right? Basically, what we need to do, we have multiple players. We may have multiple players who can do this. What I need to do is I need to find out the player which can capture our chef's pawn in the minimum number of steps. I repeat, in the lowest number of steps, I want the player who uh, I want the pawn of uh, a particular player which can capture our chef's pawn. So, say for example, I have uh, twelve, right? So, a pawn with play uh, with number three starts at position three, makes jumps. Three, uh, three jumps at a time, right? So he starts from three, moves to six, moves to nine, moves to 12, and after four moves, he captures our chef's pawn. But say for example, I have another player who starts with uh, number six, right? So basically he makes a jump of six squares at a time, directly moves to the 12th square, and therefore he can capture our pawn in just one step, right? So I need to find the smallest number of steps which a pawn can capture our chef's pawn, and that is gonna be our answer. So in this case, our answer is gonna be six, right? So yes, that is what is given. Basically, we need to figure out which pawn is the lowest number of steps, or uh, takes the lowest number of steps to capture our pawn. So that's what this problem essentially states. 
uh, this is the array so in the input we would be given t as usual then we would give, be given two integers the first integer is n which denotes the size of my array and the second integer is k very important the position the square where the shift spawn currently is standing or will be standing right and yeah after that as usual we would be given n space separated integers the jumps which my other n players pawn can make in the chess board right and in the output we need to print out the one line single integer the starting square of one player that can be so basically take it the jump take in the starting square basically you need to print out the array element which is given right so in our case 3 6 and 12 6 is the number or the element of the starting square which is going to be printed out because that takes the lowest number of steps to capture our pawn right and yes if there are no possibilities no pawn can capture our chef's pawn then we would be printing negative one as our output okay so yeah if there are multiple solutions you can find any one uh, these are the constraints the value of k is 10 to the power 9 even the uh, the size of the a the chess board is essentially 10 raised to 9 i have 1000 players at a max and 100 test cases for this problem let's understand this by giving uh, looking at the given example i have two test cases basically i have four as the number of players and six is the position of the chef's pawn right now this player starts at position four what he can do is he can jump four steps moves to position eight no he cannot capture our pawn right because our pawn is at position six again the second player i think he can because he's at position three jumps three steps and gets our pawn in one move right even this third player can get our pawn right but in two steps two to four and four to six he can but in two steps so here and definitely eight cannot because eight is anyways greater than six and the pawn cannot move backwards so in this case eight it cannot capture our pawn in any circumstances so three and two can but the smallest number of the steps is taken by pawn three the static position three and therefore we have three as our output right and in the second case i have again four plays but seven as my position now four jumps to eight three jumps to six 2 jumps to 4, 6 and 8 and 8 is definitely greater than 7, cannot move backwards. So here if you see, uh, my pawn, any of the pawns cannot capture the chef's soldier. So essentially I would be printing out a minus 1 here because leave smallest, we don't have any pawn which can capture our chef's soldier. Right. So this is what the same explanation is given to us and now let us understand our approach as to how we would be solving this problem and after that we would also take an example to understand as to what is happening in our solution okay so after looking at the problem statement let's see how we can solve this basically if you see your inputs i have been given uh, t as usual n is the size of my array and i have been given k right k is the position where chef spawn is currently paid, placed but let's take it as a number forget that uh, chess board and the soldiers placed and n players playing with different soldiers nothing what i have give, been given is k okay so let's take k then i've been given an array now array has different numbers in it right what i need to do basically is to check whether the number okay let's take a number x from the array let's denote the number as x so let's i have an array i'm just taking the first element now for now i am naming it as x i have k i have x now what i need to do is i need to check if k is a multiple of x because what's multiple multiple is jump right if i say multiples of four i am jumping four steps at a time when i say multiple of five i'm jumping five steps at a time right five ten fifteen that's what is multiple and that's what is being asked in the question essentially the question asks me that i have k and i have x which is any number from my given array and what i need to determine is whether k is a multiple of x if it is then at any point in time that x would reach at position k once and that time it would capture our chef spawn and hence that is a possible outcome right but again we have another condition that is to find the smallest number of steps taken by that pawn so we need to find a pawn such that definitely it's going to capture our shell spawn but in the minimum or the lowest number of steps logically if you see this point it basically tells us to find the maximum number i repeat the maximum number 
which is uh, okay so we need to find the maximum number of which k is a multiple okay so i have k of that particular number which takes uh, captures our pawn in the smallest number of steps that k should be a multiple right so we need to find a number such that k is a multiple of it and it is the maximum among all the numbers so what we can do is we can create a max variable right and here even i would not store our array inputs what i would do is i would take our input i would process it i would check if it is a valid input in the sense that if it is a multiple uh, if k is a multiple of that number if yes then i would put it in the max variable the max variable would check and take the maximum value which it can hold okay so let's understand this with the help of an example Basically, I have been given, say for example, n as 6, 6 elements in my array, the value of k is 8, okay, the, uh, this is the array given, and here the value of x is 6 for the first element, right, and I have initialized my max variable to 0. Now, let's start. First of all, we would check, is k percent x equal to 0? Here, in this problem, we have k as 8, so it's 8 percent 6 equal to 0 basically divide 8 by 6 and the remainder is 2 right so this is not equal to 0 so basically 6 cannot have 8 as its multiple right 8 is not a multiple of 6 so then we move forward uh, we take x as 2 and then we check again here is 2 uh, is 8 a multiple of 2 yes it is right so here if it is what we would do is we would add this particular value 2 to our max variable here my max variable has has been initialized with 0 right so max would uh, take the maximum of the current value which it's holding and the value which we are going to put into it the maximum of that would get stored in our max variable in this case it should be 2 right because 2 is greater than 0 and then we move forward so we have processed this element and again we are not even taking an array to store these values which we have been given in our input we simply would process it one by one and we would throw them that's it and here we would update our max variable to our current maximum value which we have moving forward the value of x is 5 for the third index and here is 8 percent 5 equal to 0 definitely not so we discard that value and then we move on to the fourth index now here if you note the value is 9 right basically x is greater than k right so first of all i told you for sanity purposes we can check whether uh, k is greater than x or not and if it is only then we would check for that if condition but here uh, i mean if you don't do this it's all right you can get the correct answer but since our code looks uh, a bit good what we are going to do is we're going to keep this check as well so here if you see over here k is 9 right and 9 is greater than uh, I'm sorry x is 9 and 9 is greater than my k value which is 8 so I would discard it at this particular moment because my pawn cannot move backwards it can only move forward right as I've discussed before as well this value would not be counted right so we would remove 9 afterwards we would check for the next one 1 definitely 8 is a multiple of 1 so yes we can include this but again in the max value i already have two and two is greater than one right so i would not take one here i would say that the value of max is two moving forward the last index is uh, the last element of x is four right we would check again is eight percent four equal to zero yes four is a multiple put it into max but here max value two and four so four is greater and max value would be updated to four now our array is uh, completed right we end our array so this this is just taking the input so we have taken in all the inputs we have completed scanning in our array here at this particular moment the value of max is the answer to our problem basically our answer is 4 yes that's right now you may ask one question what if max is 0 what if there is no number which is uh, basically a multiple of 8 right so in that case simple right no player can capture our chef's pawn essentially i need to print minus one and that's what we are going to do right so this is a walkthrough of the example uh, what our code will be so this is as simple as this now we're going to move to the code and we're going to look at how we would look at the solution to get the ac
So finally, let's move on to submit the problem and get that green AC. Okay, so here, uh, I'm creating my scanner object, which basically would take in by input, right? Okay, so let's create uh, an integer t equal to scan dot next int, and while t approaches zero, so this is our test cases, right? Now we would take in the inputs. So as our input, I've been given n. Extent. I have also been given k dot next int and now I have been given an array right but before taking that wait first of all let's create our x which is going to store our array elements uh, and then let's create our answer that is the maximum this variable will give us the answer right so le okay let's initialize with it with zero now let's loop in to fetch our inputs right and we would take our inputs one by one process them and update our max variable as in when required and again if you see i have not created that array to store my elements right okay so i'll just say that for in i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus here uh x would be my new input so this is scan dot next int takes in my input right so x has taken in my input now first of all i have been given k right so i would check uh, the which we have discussed earlier if uh, k should be greater than x first of all right uh, if k is less than x then uh, i mean if x is greater than k then uh, we won't because our pawn can't move backwards right so if uh, sorry it should be x is greater than k if it is so uh, oops yeah if it is so then can you please continue i mean i don't want to process this further but if okay so now if x is greater than k then we won't process that element we would continue forward we would just discard that right now we would check our main condition basically i would say if k percent x equals to zero what it means is that if x is a multiple of k if yes then i would update my max variable right so i'll just say max equals to math.max i'll pass in my max variable and i will pass in x so the same thing as we have seen before this max variable would be updated to the maximum value which it has right so yes uh that's it right that that is basically it now what i would simply do is i would exit this for loop and i would just say that okay if max equals to zero and because our uh, numbers in our array start from one right so if at all i have a multiple then that would be the lowest possible is one right so here if max is zero then safely we can say that okay i don't have any pawn which can capture the chef's pawn you need to print a minus one right so if max is zero i would just out of print i would just print minus one right but else else i will just say system dot out dot print then and here i'm going to print x I, i'm sorry i need i'm going to print max right and this is it right uh, if max is zero then print minus one else we need to print max right and this essentially is it right okay so let's go on to submit our code and finally we are going to submit this code and get this 100 points basically i just took in my n i just took in my k and then i just compared our if condition right this one and whoa we have cracked that ac so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video and let me know in the comment section down there as well